Well, going forward, we're going to be tracking a bit of a messy forecast here around mid-Missouri. Again, just kind of giving an overview of things. Timing-wise, the areas of concern are going to be Tuesday morning, Wednesday night, and then Thursday into Friday. Still a lot of question marks here with that secondary system, but mainly going to be looking at impacts to those roadways possible on kind of both ends of Tuesday and Wednesday. A little bit of snow is possible with that second system. So again, stay with us here as we continue to iron out some of these details. It's going to be kind of like hitting a moving target going forward. Right now, though, things fairly quiet. Just a little bit of cloud cover to deal with. But speaking of cloud cover, this is what we're going to be kind of turning our attention to is this storm system that we've been tracking the last couple of days. It's starting to work its way on shore, but there's some notable differences in some of the model data here. And this is what I'm talking about. This is where it's at here starting to work its way on shore, but notice what happens as we get into about the middle of this week. We're looking at a bit of a split here. Initially, we're thinking we were just going to be having to deal with this wave that's working its way through the continental United States, right through the midsection of the U.S., but back toward the southwestern portion of the states. That's going to be our second round, it looks like, here as we get into about Thursday into Friday. That's when we're thinking that's going to be starting to slide on through. This is how Future Track has it panning out. And again, this is likely going to be changing going forward. So again, you want to stay up to date on that forecast. But this one, this first wave, we have nailed down pretty good, about as good as you can here, I think, in terms of a wintry weather aspect. But again, starting out in terms of uh, some light snow, possibly Tuesday morning, transitioning over to a bit of a wintry mix. But most of this is going to be coming down as some rain here late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and it could be a little bit uh, sizable in terms of some of those rainfall amounts. On the back side of this system, and again, future tracks not exactly picking up on it, but we may be able to move in enough cold air to kind of eat away at some of that rain from west to east and change that back over to a little bit of snow. Again, even if we do that, I'm not expecting a whole lot in terms of uh, real sizable accumulations, but a light dusting certainly possible as we get into Wednesday morning. Now, going forward, Again, this is where we're going to be looking at some problems here, starting to work its way back in. This is that second round, and again, a surge of moisture moving in from the south, but it's going to be moving into some cold temperatures, and it may start out initially as a little bit of that wintry mix, but we're going to be right on the line again, and you can see some of that heavier snow. That's what we're going to try to stay away from here as we get into about Thursday night into Friday morning now as this latest system works its way off toward the north and east. And again, swinging up that direction. As long as that center of low pressure stays off to our southeast, that means we're going to be dealing with some sort of wintry aspect from this likely. But again, a lot can change over the next couple of days. What we're expecting, though, out on some of those roadways, Tuesday, I think largely we're going to be okay. You want to watch Tuesday morning. Wednesday, I think we're going to be doing the same. It's going to be a pretty good shape out on some of those area streets. But want to watch Wednesday night and then Thursday night into Friday. That's our next system and that's going to be working its way. That looks like it's likely going to be mostly snow as of right now. But again, stay with us on that front because a lot could change the track west or east of us into mid Missouri. That is going to be a huge factor into this. Timing can always mess things up. And again, those temperatures not only at the surface, but as we go up all the way through the atmosphere again, still a little bit in question. As we get into the final week of 2020, we're finally here. Going to be looking at 2021 moving in by Friday. We were uh, always kind of wondering if it was going to be going out like a lamb or a lion. It looks like it's going out a little bit loud here as we get into the close of this work week.